For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason, where researchers at the University of Illinois are working with beef cattle producers in the southern third of the state to determine the prevalence of a disease that causes cows to become listless and sometimes die. A cattle disease called anaplasmosis has been ramping up in the southern part of Illinois, or at least that's the way it appears. In short, it causes severe anemia. Well, Illinois Extension's Teresa Steckler, with funding from the Illinois Beef Association, has been pulling blood samples from herds in the area. She's trying to determine if the strain of anaplasmosis is one called Mississippi that can be controlled by a vaccine, or if it's something else. I'm just trying to see with the movement of cattle throughout the United States, do we have a new strain? Is there a new agent that's transmitting disease, or is it still just the tick um, that's causing the transmission, which is that linked to our deer population? Is that linked to some other population where the ticks may uh, uh, feast on and then move on to the cattle? Is that related to the increase, and the guys are reporting to me, an increase in the big black horse flies? Cattlemen like Loy Holselton in southern Illinois don't think there's been an increase in the tick population, but say the number of black horse flies, well, that's been on the upswing. Holselton's a vet and had Illinois pull samples from his herd of about 50. He says herd health is something that takes constant attention, even when the signs are actually there. When they lose one head, they oftentimes um, throw that up to just chance when it could be the sign of something more sinister. Something like a blood parasite that causes anaplasmosis, something the University of Illinois is working to prevent through research and education. For Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.